confirm diagnose before treating. What a concept. I mean, again, going back to the parallel of diabetes, I drink a lot, I go to a lot of the bathroom, I shoot myself with 20 units of insulin to see if I feel better. Nobody would do that. But with celiac disease, we do that. For reasons that we can discuss until tomorrow, there are people that they are for 10, 15 years suffering you know, uh, problems that they don't know what's wrong with them, they are labeled as hypochondriac, everything is your mind. You have three kids plus the fourth kids with your husband, so you have a lot of bu 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 you know, balls to juggle on the air. In other words, that's the reason why you're sick. And when they go, uh, I don't know, Google, and uh, start to look at the list of the symptoms and say, celiac, celiac, celiac. So, oh my God, this is what I have. And what do you do about it? Gluten-free diet. I'm not gonna leave it dry. And then the fine you know, font there, by the way, it's for life. And by the way, you really need to stick with this, like looking at everything that you eat and put your mouth and so on and so forth. So definitely, because our goal as professionals that take care of patients is to improve your quality of life for you guys that are here with celiac disease and other gluten-related disorders, we need to really be attentive to this. Because if you're celiac and not diagnosed, I will affect negative your lifestyle and your quality of life. But if you're not celiac or you have nothing to do with gluten and I put you on a gluten-free diet, I also affect negative your quality of life. Because you know, it's, it's, it's a social you know, challenge in changing lifestyle and you have no return on investment.